I see two possibilities. I guess most people talk in terms, respond in terms of their hope. Uh, that is the biggest part of my response, too. But it's not preordained in any way. We're all familiar with uh, the, uh, the histories of other great nations and other great uh, civilizations. And uh, uh, we've been blessed in so many ways, but it's not etched in stone anywhere that we're going to remain what we have been in the past. It's going to be up to us to make sure that we don't drift off into a comfortable decline. Uh, that's a possibility. I envision America uh, facing up to its responsibilities as it's done so many times before and facing up to, to its challenges and coming together and remembering that there's more that we agree on than we disagree on. We're more similar uh, than we are different uh, as a people. Uh, we perhaps are like Winston Churchill, I guess it was, who said Americans always do the right thing after they've exhausted all of the possibilities. Um, and, and, uh, but we're getting down to that stage in some ways now. And uh, I think that's what we're going to do again. Uh, but it's going to require strong leadership. We're going to be making some decisions as a nation and certainly as a president over the next few years that I think is going to, uh, to play an important role in our, in our long-term future. Some of the things, most of the things that we've been talking about um, here today. I think that we have to make the adjustment now as to our role in the world. I think I wouldn't be running for president of a country that I didn't think better days were ahead of it. I think that we'll, 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 we'll latch on to those challenges. We'll, we'll, we'll do what we need to do and have to do. Uh, I was watching last night on television some of that old World War II stuff again and the Iwo Jima and uh, the carnage and the sacrifice and all that. We're still that same, we're still that same nation. Definitions have changed, the threats have changed. We're still, we're still that same people. That is a people who will do what's necessary uh, for the long run benefit of the country. We have a proud heritage of honor and sacrifice for the greater good, whether it be domestic policy or, or policy uh, in uh, in foreign affairs. Those are, those are the challenges I see ahead, and I, I see us coming to terms with them. And, uh, and uh, that leaves us with our better days uh, uh, even ahead of us. And it leaves us with a much clearer conscience that we're not just a nation that, uh, like the politicians often think we are, that we're greedy and self-centered and focused on the here and now and consuming whatever is there before us. And it's what our country can do for us and not what we can do for our country. I, I don't buy that at all. But, <clears throat> you know, we'll know more about it after this next election.